This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm pretty sure I'm a human. And I've seen Cats and Dogs, a new short poetic romantic comedy drama type deal from Juiced Bicheville. It follows what I think is a brief love affair between two people who meet at a masquerade party. One who has a cat mask on and one who wears a dog mask. As they narrate their feelings and perspective of ongoing events in their relationship, we watch them fall in and out of love in a rather quickly paced and somewhat vague manner. And in the end, I'm pretty sure this short is more concerned with its imagery than its story. I mean, seriously. The short is pretty clearly inspired by Wes Anderson and his signature attention to center framing and symmetry, enough so that it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to call this an outright imitation of that style. There's elements of it in just about every visual aspect of this short, and so it's not easy to talk about it without just saying that it's someone trying to be Wes Anderson. And yet, there's still something missing that keeps it from being truly identical, which in the end gives the film an impression of being just a cheap ripoff. I mean, it's not quite cheap, but it's certainly trying to be something that it's not. Beyond this, there still isn't much to say about cats and dogs other than that its story is pretty forgettable. Here, the issue is more in the storytelling, which presents the love affair between the two characters without any dialogue, supported entirely through a somewhat repetitive back-and-forth narration from the two, which more often than not just describes whatever it is that's already on screen. There's a good amount of wordplay in the narration, though now it just makes it seem like the short was written for the sake of making a lot of animal puns. In the end, I feel like Cats and Dogs had an idea that didn't get the development which it would have needed, and instead it tries to get away with it by visual style alone. Though, even so, it has to ape from someone else to get there. Cats and Dogs, Juiced Bee Shivel, 2021. One star. I'd suggest against seeking it out, unless you need a Wes Anderson kick and can't afford the real thing. Anyways, that's it for the review. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel for more reviews. You know, I wonder if I'll get any actual Wes Anderson movies while I'm here. I never got to see Isle of Dogs while I was in theaters.